your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. Good morning, I'm Taylor Hemnes. Kansas City Police are dealing with 10 shootings in the past 24 hours. Several of those victims have life-threatening injuries, we're told. One child under the age of 10 set to recover after a shooting near East 23rd and Chelsea on Wednesday night. We're still trying to learn exactly what happened there. Police said there were at least one or two other children inside the house, as well as at least one or two adults. A firefighter was hurt overnight battling a huge fire at an historic apartment building in Casey Mo. The Knickerbocker at 36 in Pennsylvania was vacant. We're told the fire started in the basement and spread up into the building, eventually bursting through the roof. That apartment building more than 100 years old. It's actually on Historic KC's endangered buildings list. A group of people in the neighborhood have been trying to convince the owner of the property to renovate it for decades, but now that will be a much bigger job. Let's get to Lindsay Anderson with your forecast. All right, we're talking about some cloudy skies again today. Temperatures will struggle a little bit, but it's going to feel better than the last few days. We're getting closer to average in the lower and middle 70s, but unfortunately not a lot of sunshine expected out there today. Can't rule out a couple sprinkles, maybe a stray shower for a few of us in eastern Kansas later in the afternoon and for the evening hours. The better chance for heavy rain and thunderstorms will then move in by tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow morning and afternoon. Uh, 78 will be that high on Friday. We are in the 80s over the weekend. There will be some dry time in there for your Memorial Day weekend, but we'll have to monitor for some storms that come in mainly Sunday evening into Monday morning. You can get the latest news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.